Okay, so take a quick look at this little CD I got right here. Now this is the Variety Maria Takuchi um, CD. It's the 30th anniversary. It's not the original pressing. Uh, it's pretty cool and, and interesting. So I already did open it, but um, I just want to go over a little bit like thoughts and ideas on the um, CD. So now what's cool is with the CD, you do get this whole section of bonus tracks that you didn't get with the vinyl of course since this is a cd there's a lot more space that you have to um, write on it versus a vinyl you know you only have so much space that you can write on before you fill it up whereas a cd you have you know a couple of gigs before it's all filled up and everything and so of course the front and the back is the same um, it did have the little obi and i did have the little obi right here on the side um, people do go crazy about these but it's mostly the most of the time it's just advertisement to go and buy it or what's in it or how much it costs so this is the 30th anniversary, and I know ever since people went crazy for the song, um, made, made the prices of the CDs and the vinyls and everything go up in price. And so um, what's cool, you know, with the CDs is you get the little booklet. And what's interesting, since this is the 30th anniversary, it has more uh, more credits and stuff like that, but besides that, more pictures. And, um, and of course, everybody that knows the song knows the pictures from YouTube, and the YouTube song is, I mean, the YouTube pictures are different. It is nowhere in the original material. Um, the only time you see that same YouTube picture thumbnail that everybody is accustomed to is um, in the special anniversary slash record day um, of the uh, of the vinyl of the single of the vinyl single. And I do have the vinyl as well. And this is the uh, eighty four, yeah, made in eighty four, Japan. So this is one of the more original pressings of it. Oh, it's a little too large. There we go, I'll do it right there. It is one of the original pressings of it. I just don't have the little side little banner thing that just gives you more um, stuff trying to sell you up on it or whatever. Um, but what is cool though is, um, like I said, in the CD you get more songs. And of course, it's easier to play. It's a better sounding quality audio. You just pop it in and you're good to go. Whereas the vinyl, it's much more of a work. But... Don't get me wrong, the vinyl does sound freaking amazing, and I'm glad that I have the vinyl. That's what I uh, originally listened to it on, and so now I have this CD, so I can um, have, you know, a more easier accessible copy, and easier to play and um, enjoy it, you know? Plugging in a CD versus um, getting my stuff to clean this out, clean it, make sure the, um, the stylus and everything is all cleaned up, make sure, um, you know, there's no dust and whatnot and uh going from there but anyways um overall album wise i freaking love the album i think it's super good um i think all of the songs are, are pretty well done um the the bonus track you get the previously unreleased right here this number 12 don't focus on me that song is actually really freaking good i actually did like that and it's cool because you get like these little uh plastic love all these ones are just remixes and the bottom one's a karaoke you know which is pretty popular in japan to do karaoke so of course it's just the music, um, nothing special, or or you can just say the instrumentals, um, which is cool and neat to have as an extra bonus. Um, but overall, I think all the songs are pretty dang good. Uh, I think the only one I don't like is Broken Heart. It's just because it's a really slow, really slow, like more somber song. Um, I mean, it has a really good like like uh, jazzy kind of feel, kind of note to it. But of course, like the opening song, um, that one actually starts off really freaking good and. You know, I want to say it starts off super hard, <laughs> uh, but I think it's a super good, you know, beginning song. And then the Plastic Love, which is a song everybody, you know, likes. Um, Let's Get Married is, like I've said before, it's a little cheesiest, but it's still kind of cute. Um, One Night Stand is still pretty good. Um, I think it was Night at the Amphitheater was another one that I really did like a lot. Um, and then, of course, like I said, I haven't listened to the to the previously unreleased, and I finally listened to it now because I, I got... This CD and so listening to it and enjoying it for the first time I thought I thought that was a really good song that um, totally fits well in place with the theming and the style of the album altogether um, you know and then of course her cute little dog that she talks about in uh, one of the songs two of the songs um, and then this being the anniversary edition it's a nice little you know uh, accompanying piece or if someone never got it um, to pick it up um, you know, and like I said, for record day, I believe in 20, 2021 or 22, I can't remember. Um, no, oh my bad, 21. 
uh, or was it nine or twenty twenty? Am I on twenty twenty? I forgot. One of the years in record day in Japan, not in the United States, because I thought record day was a universal thing for everybody. But what they did was they re-released the the song on a single, on a vinyl single, you know, on a forty five, um, if I remember correctly. Um, and they changed the picture to the same picture that they have in the famous YouTube clip video that everybody you know everybody likes. And I'm still trying to get my hands on a, a copy of those. I'm not too worried about it because it was a record day special. So um, this should be fairly easy for me to find a copy. And I have seen plenty of copies, um, plenty of, you know, chances to get one. Um, it's just been, of course, kind of lazy and haven't tried to hurry up and get one. Um, you know, that aspect. But, um, I mean, if you still haven't listened to the whole album, I recommend listening to the whole album. And you might be surprised on um, some one of these other songs that you might be interested or you might like. Um, you know, I mean, this is cool to have because I get all these little extra more pictures and goodies and stuff like that. The vinyl didn't have that, it, or at least mine, mine doesn't have the insert sheet, but when you do open it up, I think I do well, I only have one cover, but when you do take it out of the sleeve, it's just the inside that has a nice little collage little thing. And these pictures are, of course, different. You know, you can see them. None of these are in that 30th anniversary. I think that one is up top. Yeah, that one is up top. Because that's the main that's the main picture itself. But you can tell this is an older one just because of the yellowing and the uh like that color to it. You know, and of course uh, you guys can't smell it, but I can clearly smell this old book, kind of like old library book smell to this that it has. Because man, this thing this thing is nice and solid, man. This this I love how this album is laid out. I wish more albums I had vinyls I had on on just one single oop, on one single um record were this sturdy and this solid uh, you know to pretty much withstand a good you know a good amount of time because you know as long as I keep it protected and safe it'll be good it'll be okay whereas you know disc disc rot um you know this can uh if you I don't know drop it and you, well I mean you can still shatter the vinyl and everything but I think more more in line is is the um, digital devices they corrode or they go away after a time, whereas this analog this vinyl, I take good care of it, and I make sure it doesn't get uh, what's it called uh, mold on it and stuff like that. It'll last a very good long time. I just got to make sure those grooves and everything stay intact, stay clean. Whereas this, leaving it on the shelf forever, uh, after a while, it, the the disc itself will just uh, start eating away at the little the little um, layer of film that's in there will start to like corrode and go away um and there's a couple of different ways that could happen but i know disc rot is like the main one it takes a while it takes a while but if a cd was you know um 40 years old yeah that's that's when you start to worry whereas this this vinyl is still should be perfectly fine and it is i've played it i mean i've only played this vinyl very sparingly with like a few friends that have come over and um also try to record it using another friend's record player just so I could try to get this whole analog and then just try my hand at um, recording it and then trying to clean it up and just my own you know personal projects and everything um, but uh but yeah so if I haven't said it enough I really do recommend this whole album uh, to listen to the whole thing and, and I really recommend people to go in there and then start from the beginning and then go to the end if you can get the bonus track that extra little track really good little bonus track I uh, really did like that one Focus for me. Doesn't want to focus. Um, if you can find that bonus track as well, it should be easy now on the internet nowadays. But um, I recommend, uh, what I like to do is just sit down, listen to the whole thing, and then just pay attention to it. I try not to be on the phone. I try to actually listen to the song and um, get the feeling, get the understanding. I understand it's in Japanese, but there is a lot of these parts that she does, you know, sing in English and, um, you know, other little small parts like that so you can get a feel. You know, and with music, it's not only the what they're saying, but it's also the feeling that they can convey. And I mean, um, a, lot, a lot of the feelings that she can convey are pretty dang good. And the um, the ambience you get from it is, you know, all all, all around uh, pretty freaking great. Um, so I mean, when I when I was, when I uh, when I have done uh, my homework, I will you know put records on and I'll just put one side and then flip it at every time it finishes. So that's another fun thing I like to do when I'm doing homework. So that way I get up turn around and um, change my records and then sit down and work for another 30 minutes and then get up so rinse and repeat it gives me a, a good little minute to get up stretch my legs 
go change it, take five minutes to change it, spend another 30 minutes doing homework, and that's the routine. That's a routine I like to do, but um, yeah, everybody has their own ideas, their own little things they like to do. But yeah, if you haven't tried it already, I recommend you listen to the whole album front to back. If it'll focus. <laughs> yeah, my phone's being dumb. Yep, so that's all I got for today on this one, you guys. And um, cool little 30th anniversary CD. And so that's all I got for today. And so thanks for watching.